from this day on, there's apples, dates, bananas, the freshest fruit. And Duneville. <laughs> Anything. <sighs> well, sure. Take a look. Walk blast. Yes? Uh-huh. Now, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. Oh, hello. I haven't seen... Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. My dad told me that's where the petrified live. Walk blast. Wait, I think I know you. Wait, I think I know you. You helped the Grand Master need? crush those Naramese bastards at the harbor gate. Didn't With you? pleasure. I can't believe that actually happened. May your path always be even!
Greetings. Walk blessed. Hungry for arcane secrets? I have books, scrolls, potions, anything for friends of path abiding magic. The light fades away at the end of the day. Hungry? I've got just what a weary traveler needs. Where did I put it? Take a look. Seen you. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Drunkard from the Nomad last night. You should have heard him. He was rambling on and on about how the aged man's manner apparently just vanished into thin air. Crazy, isn't it? <sighs> what blessed?
my sir. My sir. From the upper city, huh? You got guts walking around with all that down here. There you are. Very well. Nice place, isn't it? While the Neremis are in front of our gates, the people down here are bashing each other's heads in, and the crowd is cheering them on. Possibly. Be that as it may, I finished reconstructing the Planeswalker. It was expensive and arduous, but the result turned out better than expected. In a safe place. Come along. Come to bed. Talk to Russia. My sir. Move along. Sun child, uh, I bet you came to watch those fools cut their guts open in the dust pit. You know, that's the only reason you snobs ever come down here. Some people just don't know their path. from every corner down here, don't they? Either way, here it is. The Planeswalker. Your knowledge of geometrical shapes is truly impressive. No, it's more than a cube. You'll see. Correct. But in order for it to do that, we need to activate it first. See those three crystal fragments worked into the casing? Well observed. Essentially, the Planeswalker creates a distortion in reality. Imagine the following. When you cast a fireball, this fireball is coming from another eventuality, correct? Accelerated heat you conjure right into your fingertips. While you're doing this, there's a brief moment in time where the door between this eventuality and our world stands ajar. Good. 
The problem is that this rift normally exists for only a split second, and this is where the Planeswalker comes into play. It maintains the rift the moment we create it. Yes, I will cast the spell, but I will need to borrow from your strength. You'll see why. No more than any advanced spell, but I have Ambrosia with me, so fever shouldn't be a problem. In a moment, once the rift is open, we'll only have a limited amount of time, so three things in advance. First of all, according to Dalmaric, planeswalking is extremely dangerous. Well, he thinks that an eventuality recognizes irregularities after a certain amount of time, and corrects them. In other words, massive arcane fever and a brain hemorrhage. So we'll have very little time over there. Secondly, the further an eventuality is located from our strand, the less time we can stay in it. Realities in which Vin doesn't even exist would correct us the moment we step through the rift. I doubt it. Trying to counteract an eventuality with Ambrosia is probably as helpful as putting a warm compress around your neck after someone has decapitated you. How should I know? One would have to experiment to find that out, and considering what's at stake, I think that's a bad idea. Well, let me put it this way. I'd actually prefer to go through the rift by myself, but knowing you, I doubt you'd stay behind. But, and this is important, once we're there, please don't follow me. Look around, explore the area, do whatever you feel like doing, but let me carry out my task in peace. Please. Good, and let's waste no more time, shall we? Here, take this and cast it at my command. Do it from... Hmm, wait. Yes, from over there. Let's begin. Son! It worked. It actually worked. Ira. The Siras Islands. A few miles from the shore near Al Rashim. You feel it too, don't you? The fever? It is. It must be the eventuality trying to correct us, just as Dalmaric said it would. In other words, the clock is ticking. One close to our strand, yes. Another version of Vin. I... Forgive me. Frankly, I had doubts until the very end whether this would really work. All this, it's... incredible. Look for someone. Prophet, thank you. I know I'm not the easiest person to get along with, but this, it means a lot to me. Give me ten minutes, will you? Take a look around, do what you will, but be careful. Yes, you will.
liked it. What do you think, love? It was magnificent. We'll make a great bard out of you yet. Really? Really. And you know what? Because you did so well, I'll tell you a secret. What is it? It's a secret, so I can only tell you and not Mommy. Come over here and I'll tell you. Hey, that's not fair. Nothing in the world is fair, love. So, Princess, what do you say? Mm, okay. Just a little closer. The secret is... That the Tickle Monster <laughs> is hungry again! <laughs> <sighs> you too. Do you want to know another secret? The little princess is way past her bedtime already, and she knows it. Because I have told her before. Alright, alright, I'm going. Look how she's grown. Time really does fly, doesn't it? No argument there. I'll finish the letter, okay? You go upstairs and get some sleep. You've earned it. Okay. Won't be too long, all right? Don't worry, I won't. Hey, I love you. I love you too, Maya. You just had to do it, didn't you? Well observed. Yes. Yes, I do. Huh? I'm afraid I've changed my mind. I'm staying. Tell me something I don't know. My daughter. My wife, Naya, the man that world out there made me into. I never wanted to be like him. All I wanted was to live a normal life, like the Juzlan of this world gets to. But that's just the way of things. The world doesn't care what you want. It decides. We endure. Yes, I did. Does it matter? They're gone. Dead. Buried under the sand of the Red Desert. End of story. Not here. 
I don't want them to find my body. What do you mean? You... No. Almaric's writings are clear. We die, and it's over. A peaceful death, in a peaceful world. You mean... You're clever. I have to hand it to you. You're really clever. The problem is, however, that you could be right. And I can't afford to take that risk. So... I'm coming with you. But... Give me one more moment, will you? Just one? Let's go. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what got into me. Yes, so am I. The house, their voices, it was simply too much to bear. I must ask your forgiveness. Of course I did. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I thought it would help me to see them, provide closure. Or maybe it was just the desire to see what might have been, as painful as it was. You've also lost people. Wouldn't you have done the same? Just as I thought. I do not want to talk about it. You've learned much about me in these past few hours. Leave me this last bit of privacy as a refuge. Good question. But now that I have done what I set out to do, I will tell the Grand Master and the Arch Magister about it. Maybe they can put it to good use. Though, frankly, I doubt it. The Aether Crystal has lost its power, and it'll be next to impossible to find a new one in the little time we have left at our disposal. And even if Heranthiel can get his hands on another one, the correction happens far too fast for us to gain worthwhile information about the cycle from other realities. But I'll leave the choice to him. Ah. 
I am grateful that you saved me. Now that I'm back here, I know that staying would have been the wrong choice. Still, I don't regret doing what we did. It showed me something. I believe that concludes our business, does it not? Thank you, again. I think we both know you've earned yourself more than just a couple of pennies. Wait a moment. Yes, here it is. This key will open a deposit box in the bank. The item you'll find there is for you. It's an heirloom, but I think you'll have more use for it than I will. I think we might have been friends had we met in another world. Who knows? Now I suggest... Wait, what is this? In that pouch of yours? That flower... Kirash, is this... Is this a dream flower? Where did you get it? In the other reality? By the name of the sun. That is fascinating. Then you want to brew the potion, don't you? The dream flower elixir. No, that... You wouldn't do that, would you? All right, listen, that's a bad idea. The dream flower is dangerous. Extremely dangerous. No. That is, yes, it makes one powerful, but you must understand the reason why. The dream flower... I studied it for a long time. And by now, I believe I understand how it functions. It takes over your spirit from the moment you drink it. Yes, Ibn Nadarim and the Kalean's alchemist, whose writings you've probably read, they're both wrong. Yes, the dream flower improves your arcane skills, but it neither makes you immortal, nor does it allow you to seamlessly jump between realities. Instead, it puts you into an eternal slumber. Do you understand? From the moment you drink it, you're asleep. Trapped in a dream where things always go the way you want them to. An Elysium. An eternal dream. You'll fall asleep and continue existing in a world inside your head. But you won't even realize it. So did I. Believe me, I know what I am talking about. Drinking the dream flower elixir means leaving reality forever. <sighs> Everything that's written about the dream flower is theoretical. Believe me, if I wasn't convinced that my hypothesis was correct, I would be in Cairo looking for the flower right now. But it's pointless. Ultimately, you'll believe what you want to believe. Please, Prophet. You're about to make a mistake. I... Give it to me. I believe I can brew something out of it that contains the positive effects the flower has on your arcane abilities, but without putting you to sleep. Please, Prophet. Don't be a fool. You're toying with things you don't even remotely understand. Good. Thank you. You've made the right decision, trust me. I'll let you know once I've taken a closer look at it. We'll speak in the temple. This holy sick. Wait, I think From I know this you. Day on, you helped the Grandmaster crush those Naramese bastards at the harbor, didn't you? Morning, but I can't believe that actually happened. Always good. 
too easy on this guy. Walk blessed. Some shifts never end. I didn't tell them that already. Huh? Can I help you? Miss Sir? 